It was a Tuesday morning. Sarah grabbed her coffee, unlocked her phone, and tapped the Facebook icon. Her profile picture was gone, replaced by a blank silhouette. Her name was changed. She couldn't log in. Her password was rejected. The password reset email never arrived. The hacker had already locked her out. In minutes, friends messaged her. Sarah, what's going on with your Facebook? Why are you posting weird links? The hacker was using her account to send scams and malicious links to her contacts. Sarah watched, powerless, as her online identity was twisted to harm her friends. Her account, once a source of connection, had become a weapon. The digital ghost in her machine was real, and it was causing chaos. This isn't fiction. It's reality for thousands every day. Attackers today use sophisticated, personalized tactics. They don't just guess passwords. They trick you into handing them over. They exploit trust, curiosity, and the desire to help. The violation is profound, like a stranger breaking in and wearing your face. Our digital lives are more fragile than we think. Understanding how this happens is the first step to stopping it. Hackers aren't always shadowy coders. They're often skilled manipulators. The most common entry point isn't a technical flaw, but human nature. They don't need to break down the door if you'll open it for them. This video will reveal the advanced methods used today, not to scare you, but to arm you with knowledge. In the digital world, awareness is your strongest shield. Let's pull back the curtain. Before we dive in, remember, this information is for your protection, not for causing harm. Learning how attacks work is like learning how burglars operate, not to become one, but to defend your home. Using these techniques against others is illegal and unethical. Phishing isn't just about bad emails anymore. Today's attacks are sleek, personalized, and often come as direct messages from compromised friends. You might get a message, OMG, is this you in this video, with a link. The link leads to a perfect fake Facebook login page. You enter your info and hand it to the attacker. Sometimes the fake page even redirects you to the real Facebook, so you don't notice. In-app browser attacks are common too. Links open inside Facebook's app, making it harder to spot a fake URL. Attackers mimic Facebook's look, tricking you into entering your password. Defend yourself by being suspicious of urgent or emotional messages with links. Always check the URL before entering your password. Look for Facebook.com and the padlock icon. On mobile, copy links into your main browser to inspect them. Never trust unexpected login prompts, no matter who they seem to come from. Social engineering is hacking the human, not the computer. Attackers use your public info to craft believable attacks. Example, you check in at a conference. An attacker poses as an organizer, sends you a presentation link, it's a trap, or a friend's account is hacked. You get a desperate message. I'm locked out. Can you send me the code Facebook texts you? That code gives them your account. Protect yourself by verifying requests, especially urgent or unusual ones. If a friend asks for money or sensitive info, confirm their identity through another channel. Be careful what you share publicly. The less attackers know, the harder it is for them. Trust, but verify. Social engineering works because it feels personal. Don't let urgency override caution. Always double check before you act. Your skepticism is your best defense. Malware is still a hacker's favorite tool and it's evolved. Keyloggers record everything you type, usernames, passwords, credit cards. Malware often arrives disguised as free movies, cracked software, or see who viewed your profile tools. Downloading these installs malware in the background. Session hijackers steal your Facebook session cookie, letting attackers access your account without your password, even bypassing two-factor authentication. Protect yourself. Only download from trusted sources and official app stores. Use reputable antivirus and keep it updated. Regularly scan your devices. If an offer seems too good to be true, it is. Don't open suspicious files, even if they look like photos or documents. Caution and good security software are your best defense. In 2025, hackers use AI to make attacks smarter and harder to spot. AI generates thousands of convincing phishing messages and can chat in real time, mimicking your interests. 
Imagine an AI bot posing as a fellow hiker, building rapport, then sending a link to a fake app that steals your credentials. AI also creates deepfakes, fake videos or audio to blackmail or manipulate you. You might get a message. What is this video of you? It's going viral. Panic leads to clicking a malicious link. Defend yourself by focusing on the request, not the presentation. Be skeptical of anyone, real or fake, who pushes you to click links or download files. Verify unusual requests through a separate, trusted channel. Don't rely on spotting bad grammar. AI makes everything look real. Vigilance is more important than ever. If something feels off, pause and double check. Some attacks target Facebook itself using zero-day exploits, unknown flaws in the platform. These vulnerabilities are valuable because there's no defense until they're discovered and fixed. Hackers or researchers find these flaws, sometimes selling them for huge sums. Governments and criminal groups use zero days for targeted espionage. For most users, the risk is low, but not zero. You can't directly protect against zero days, but you can make yourself a harder target. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Keep your Facebook app and phone updated. Patches fix vulnerabilities. Tech companies run bug bounty programs to find and fix flaws. Good security habits make you less appealing to attackers. Now, let's talk solutions. Enable two-factor authentication, can 2FA. It's the single best step you can take. Use an authenticator app or a physical security key for maximum protection. Avoid SMS codes if possible. Phone numbers can be hijacked. Use a strong, unique password at least 12 characters, with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Never reuse your Facebook password anywhere else. Use a password manager to keep track of your passwords. Regularly review your active sessions in Facebook's security and login settings. Log out of devices you don't recognize. Check which apps and websites have access to your Facebook. Remove any you don't use. Each connected app is a potential risk. Keep your list short and your account tight. Proactive steps now prevent headaches later. Securing your digital life is an ongoing process, not a one-time fix. Threats evolve, so must your defenses. Stay informed about new scams and best practices. Make cybersecurity education a habit. Follow experts, read trusted news, subscribe to updates. Share what you learn with friends and family. Your awareness protects your whole circle. Remember, be skeptical of urgent messages, always verify sources, and use strong, unique passwords. Enable two-factor authentication everywhere. Keep your software updated. These habits are your best defense. Ultimately, you are the guardian of your digital identity. Platforms build security, but you are the final line of defense. Stay alert, stay informed, and stay safe. Your digital self will thank you.